Good afternoon. This is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire. And today we're going to be on part three of making acorn bread. And before I started the video, I actually prepared my dough. And this is what the dough looks like if you follow the recipe. Somewhere down below, we'll have the link posted with directions for the recipe as well as photos, a step-by-step -step guide to make this bread indoors. This would be the acorn bread. Now, I understand that for time, when we were making the movie, I didn't show um, preparing the acorns. And what I used was just simply a nutcracker from, that you purchase at a store. Then you can make a crack, either crack it through, and I'll show you. Not every nut is perfectly white inside. So you'll have to go through your nuts and keep the ones that are white and put these back outdoors for the creatures. All right, here I have a beautiful one. And what I do is I just, with a tip of a knife, I pop these all out in a bowl. But what if you're in a survival situation and you don't have your nutcracker? Well, first off, we always recommend that people carry either a tool man or pliers with them. So you could use your tool man. But what if you didn't have your tool man or pliers? Well, what the natives did was they would use rock. Now this is only for demonstration. It would not work as this is sandstone. And what they would do is they would have their rock. They would hollow a portion out. Then they would place their nuts in there and crack them open. They would lay their acorn these into the sun and let them actually dry first. Once they were dried in the sun they would take them back and they would crush them finely with a rock. So you could have a mortar, mortar and pestle or just use your rock or a hammer. So now we've got that ground down and now we have ourselves a big bowl of crushed acorn meal. Now what to do in a primitive style. All right now you've you're in a scenario where you've removed the nuts from their shells. Now how would you go ahead leaching them? As in primitive, you won't have your blender. Well, you would take, you could take your sock, you could take a sleeve, you could take a pant leg if you had to, and place the shelled acorns inside, and then simply rest this in running water. You could flip it over every now and again, but the, it's just the motion of the running water through it that will remove all your tannins. So now you would imagine you have rinsed your acorns and your next step is how to bake bread and you're nowhere near a kitchen for supplies. What would you do then? So I'll show you that next. One of the first things I'm gonna show you is to make acorn coffee. You just take a spoonful of your acorn meal, the mush, put it in your cup, and simply add boiling water to it. The flavor is very similar to chicory. If you look inside, you'll see it's a more of a soft brown color, and the flavor that comes out of it, as I said, resembles more a coffee made out of chicory and dandelion root. So this would be your morning coffee if all you had was acorns on the trip. So that's a good, strong black coffee. It really tastes excellent. All right, now I put my cup back on and I'm bringing water to a boil. The next thing that I could do was simply add this to it. So 
Now if you look inside of the can, it's beginning to come back to a boil. And what this is called is acorn mush. Now you, if you had sweetener like syrups, you could sweeten your mush and this would make a good, healthy, hearty breakfast. Okay, I've cooked it long enough now that it sort of has a texture of cream of wheat, I guess. And now being that we're doing this primitive style, we would go to our local maple tree and add a good dash of maple syrup. flavor is really good. It just has a little bit of a gritty texture in your mouth. But if you were hungry in the woods, this would be an awesome breakfast. The last thing we're going to do today is make some primitive acorn bread. So I have my acorn meal. Now, what the natives would do would be to add some fat. So animal, some type of animal fat or vegetable fat. So that would be the fat that I'm adding, and then just simply adding water until you have a good dough. Now if you were making your mush, remember you could add any types of berries. And the natives also used dried beef, a pemmican or jerky, to their mushes. And it's the same thing you can do with your bread. You can also add berries to your bread. So I've mixed this little bit up, and we're just going to shape it now into a small little loaf, as you would bannock or flatbread. And we're going to be placing that on the fire and cooking it. I'm going to take the little patty shape that I made and lay it on the coals. Now remember, acorns have no gluten at all, so it'll easily fall apart, so you have to be very careful with them. And we're just going to let that bake till the bottom is browned and turn it over. I'm going to check the bottom side and flip it over. You see it's browning up nicely. And remember, it's not going to have the same texture as regular bread. It's very crumbly and dry. But we're going to give it a little taste here. Not my favorite. Well, I had to rinse my mouth out. I had to do a little edit there. The texture after you cook it is well, it's just nasty in your mouth. But again, if you were in a survival situation, this would be food. Once it's cooked, you can keep it with you. You could crumble it up, add it to your... If you made a bowl of greens, you could add it to it for protein, for vitamins. It is extremely healthy. Now, the dough, the meal, when you have freshly ground your acorns, it actually has no flavor whatsoever of tannin in it. It's not bitter at all. It's actually very sweet. For testing out the various ways, I think I would stick to the plan of the natives, and that was to just take this moist meal and pop it in your mouth, drink some fluid behind it, and that would give you your nutrition, and of course you could add it to all your different meals if you are making stew or if you are making soups. Now the next loaf I want to show you is the one we made in the kitchen. The bread in the oven is ready now, so just wanted to show you from a bowl of acorns to a loaf of bread. This one looks a lot better than the one done in over the fire.
so you can see the texture. It's incredibly soft bread. Just got the flour in it. And mm, this is the way it's supposed to taste. This is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire thanking you for joining me for this three-part series on acorns. Of course, there's so much more we could talk about. We could discuss leaching them by boiling methods. We could discuss different ways of crushing them. I hope the information that was shared in the last three videos will inspire you to get out and gather those acorns and test your skill at various bread making, flour making. Have a great day. We'll see you soon on another video.